Well, greetings. This is Tony Lightfoot, your announcer for the LA Night Jam, and welcome to LANightJam.com. And this is the first of our uh, athlete interviews. Uh, standing by is Zach Warden, who jumped uh, 232 feet last weekend in uh, at McCormick's and uh, will definitely uh, ruffle a few feathers uh, come June the 6th uh, for the LA Night Jam. So, uh, so greetings, Zach, and congratulations on that jump of uh, 232. Ah, thank you, Tony, man. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, this is basically your first full year of professional uh, competition. And, I mean, you're really going up against a tough competition. I mean, Freddie, who's the defending Night Jam champion, uh, Jarrett, who, who's always been there with jumps of over 230 feet. Uh, you've got Ryan Dodge. You've got Jason Seals. You've got Damian Sharman. You know, how, how do you feel now actually being been listed as as among, among one of the elite jumpers on on the planet now well um feels pretty cool man uh, for a while there i was looking up to a lot of these guys and it's going to be cool just to be able to stand on the dock with them and um be able to actually kind of get them a run for their money and hopefully uh hopefully this is my first um first tournament uh really kind of going pro and so uh hopefully i can um, get it off to a good start okay um, and I mean, tell, tell me, tell me, tell me about a little bit about your progression. I mean, I mean, every, I mean, every, a lot of people have followed you through the junior ranks all the way through to the junior worlds, and I mean, I mean, they've always seen that you've had that you've had potential on the jump ramp to really put out some distances. But now this is your first full season at the six foot ramp height, and a lot, a lot of a lot of jumpers I know have. have have considered the six foot ramp height a really really steep learning curve but you have seen to have leapfrogged over o- over that learning curve with 232 feet you know and it's it's really going to ruffle a few feathers well um well i mean the transition um it, it wasn't as easy as it seemed to be but i mean i started um at five and a half and i had always generally jumped a big five and a half foot ramp and then um my coach jack travers uh slowly started moving me up inch by inch so I mean it was a it was a drastic change but really um when done the right way it uh it really really helped my jumping and uh really benefited from it and you always seem to have this air of self-confidence I mean I mean I mean that mean naturally Jack Travers is is one of is one of the world's top water ski jump coaches in the what in, in the world and I mean it's I mean, I mean, what are the points that he presses presses on you every time you take a jump set? Um, basically, kind of get my head in the game. Um, don't go out there and risk hurting myself. I mean, even a bad set, you can you can pull something from every set and learn something new. And um, that's kind of what I what he's really put in the back of my head that I go out there and think every time I get on the water. Okay. LA Night Jam coming up on June the sixth. Uh, this is this going to be your first time that you've ever that you've ever traveled to uh, to Tri Lakes to, uh, to to compete. Um, I skied a, uh, a six round tournament there about three years ago, and um, actually skied really well out there. But I was still a junior, so this is my first time going 35 and hitting a six foot ramp out there. But um, you know, with other guys in the dock, I think the adrenaline will be pumping. I'm pretty excited to get out there and um, and show what I got. Again, you must be excited about being part of the LA Night Jam, uh, according to uh, the feedback that you've gone from skiers that uh, uh, that have actually uh, been in that in that situation. I mean, the feedback was huge last year. I mean, a lot of guys went there, and I sat there and watched on a webcast at home, and uh, really got pumped up for this year. And everyone jumped really well, and I'm I'm really excited to go out there and um, give it a rip. I mean, it's a great jump lake. Um, it'll be my first time jumping at night, though, if I make it to finals. And um, so, of course, I'm a little nervous about that. But I think uh, I've watched enough guys jump and uh, heard enough about it to be able to at least give it a good shot and um, see if I can make this guy sweat a little bit. Okay. Have you have you had any have, have any of the skiers that you've encountered given you any tips or any or, or anything that would make your transition from daytime to nighttime jumping any easier? Um. Well, I've, um, I've spoken to quite a few jumpers, and for the most part, the general idea of it is it's a lot faster, and um, and it's going to be a little scarier, but I mean, um, 
I'm not afraid to jump. I'm going to go out there and uh, give it all I got and hopefully uh, be able to kick one off for everybody. We've been talking to Zach Warden on LANightJam.com. He'll be one of our top competitors going into, the, into that event. This has been Tony Life, but you're an announcer for LA Night Jam. Get more information by going to LANightJam.com, and we hope to see you there. Take it easy.